than a year away from the federal deadline to get a real ID to travel on domestic flights. Uh, AJ Gersh joins us now to clear up some of the confusion and tells us what you actually need to bring with you to apply for that real ID. May 3rd, 2023, that is the date to remember. The Department of Homeland Security says you'll need to have a real ID by then if you don't have a passport and you want to get on a domestic flight. Some people feel misunderstand the real ID is only good for domestic travel. If you're traveling to Paris, you need a passport. Um, and if you have a passport again, you don't need a real ID as long as you don't mind carrying your passport with you on domestic flights after May 3rd of 2023. And even though the Illinois Secretary of State's office does recommend it, it's not a requirement to get a real ID. You have a choice. If you don't travel, like my father doesn't travel, for instance, he's in his 80s, he doesn't really go anywhere, so he wouldn't get a real ID. What does someone need to bring in if they want to get a real ID? The first thing we would recommend is you go to our website, realid.ilsos.gov. We've designed a interactive document checklist that you can use. It almost functions as a kind of a cheat sheet for you. That list includes either your birth certificate or passport, a social security card, W-2 or pay stub, that is your full social security number, not just the last four digits, and then two documents that prove where you live, like a bank statement or utility bill. The Secretary of State's office says if you're a first time driver's license applicant, you might as well apply for a real ID instead of a standard one because the list of items you need to bring in to get that first license is virtually the same as the one to get a real ID. But again, just to clarify, it's not a requirement to get one. Just a good idea if you travel domestically. In the studio, I'm AJ Gersh. Back to you. All right, thanks, AJ. You'll still be able to get a real ID after May 3rd, that deadline as well. For more information, just head to our website, newschannel20.com.